what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to use this cool effect called the camera lens blur inside of after effects what i'm going to do with this effect is create a cool seamless transition with it from transitioning from this clip right here to my second clip i already have a little zoom transition between the first one and the second one it's pretty subtle but uh it's just going to make the transition look a lot smoother and if you guys want to know how to use these zoom transitions, I'll link a video down below where you can uh, download my zoom presets and use them in your video. So that uh, video has everything covered for transitions like this. So you can uh, go pause the video right now and then download those transitions and then come back to this one when you want to do the blur. You don't need the zoom transition right here, but I think it makes it look a lot smoother. So up to you guys, whatever uh, fits your video. So. What I'm going to do is go up to the effects and presets and search camera lens and then it pops up right here camera lens blur and I'm just going to drag that actually first we need to create an adjustment layer because I don't want to drag it onto like just this clip because it won't be affecting my second clip so we want to just create a new adjustment layer go up to here adjustment layer bring that on top of our clips right here so I can just drag my camera lens blur onto this adjustment layer so now the lens blur is affecting everything and what we're going to want to change is make this blur radius zero keep the roundness at zero aspect ratio can just be at one rotation zero and then the fringing is at 100 and then the gain i want to change that to 30 and let's see here threshold is going to be at 30 also and the saturation we can just leave at zero and the edge behavior we want to make repeat edge pixels um so now that we have those we can start keyframing so i'm just going to go a few frames forward maybe right when it starts to zoom in i'm just going to create a keyframe and we can hit u on our keyboard and it'll bring up our keyframes right here so let's go to the transition right there and keyframe this to 100. So now we get this cool camera blur starting from this clip and it blurs the second clip, but we still need to add one more keyframe at the end of our transition. So just bring that back down to zero. So now without any uh, graph editing, we can take a look at what it looks like. So yeah, you can see the effect is uh, working right now, but it doesn't look too good without the uh, graph editor. So just easy ease those and we need to open up the graph editor to fix this. And I'm just going to create something that looks sort of like this. And it may be different for you guys. Just whatever looks good. So yeah, that's pretty good. It's a subtle blur right there into our second clip. So that's nice. And then I'll show you guys without the um zoom to so there it is without the zoom and i feel like the zoom in just looks a lot cleaner so i'm going to leave that on for these clips so yeah that's basically it for this uh effect so if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below make sure to drop a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out